Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day in the life of Mike. It is freaking freezing outside this morning. My car says it's eight degrees, so I gotta go warm my ass up in the gym. I'm gonna catch y'all at the gym, but we have a pretty exciting day today. I'm gonna take y'all alongside. I'll see y'all at the gym. Saturdays are usually the days I do my Olympic lifts. For those of you who don't know me from before, I had a football background. So a lot of those lifts transfer from football over to my daily workouts now. Just a little bit of different focus, but it just transferred. I, a lot of people ask me like, hey, why do you still work out so hard? It's just like instilled in me, probably from football. It's just every single day I just wake up, just gotta go work out. It's crazy, it's a little bit different focus. Now I'm focused on getting cut and being in shape and all that type of shit, but same shit, baby. Okay, so we're on the way to the first appointment. And on these appointments, I kind of like them because they're on Saturdays. The reason being is because I don't have the whole team working on the weekends. So it's just myself really and the other owners of the business working on the weekends. So it allows me to just go in there, not have to worry about the whole team, lock these puppies up and make some damn money. But um, yeah, so we're on the way to the first one. I'll let you guys know how it goes. This one, if it's a deal, most likely probably fixing and flipping it ourselves. So pretty excited to see this one. Let's see what happens. You know, you know what I mean? That's yeah. that's what I'm saying. So here's here's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at 325 is what you end up selling it for. And whatever, take my word for a grain of salt yes. I'm just an investor right we comped it that's what we said right we actually said 315 but I'm gonna meet you in the middle so let's just say 325 is what you sold it for yeah. typically with realtor plus closing fees and all that is eight percent so we times that by 0.92 that brings you to 299 so that's what you walk away with in your pocket right. but in order to get there you got to put in probably maybe 10 grand worth of work so let's just say 10 grand worth of work 289 is your real raw number. So that's what I said. If somebody came in here with a cash offer at 290, I'd take it all day if you're looking to accomplish just walking away with that type of money. You see what I mean? Uh, I, Are you following me? No, no, I, I, follow, I follow you. I follow we're, you. We're not a buyer for you. I'm just going to take my buyer hat off at this point mm -hmm. because your number was correct. We're going to be around like 250. If we buy it at 250, I mean, with this deal, you end up losing $40,000 worth of equity. It doesn't make sense for us to buy it at 250. I think it makes sense for you guys to put the work into it, and you end up walking away with 289 after you put all the work right, into it. Right. I, I, I but agree. if somebody came in here, their buyers are crazy. Some oh. people are like, I just want to keep my guys busy. I'll buy it at 290. Here you go. Well, Just got back from our seller's appointment. We did not come to an agreement with the seller, but it's looking like a follow-up for us. And we potentially got some private lending in the future. So we're gonna see what we can make happen. But I'm always looking to, even if we do a deal or not, right? I'm always looking to bring somebody some value. Like if I can have them be a private lender and them see a whole entire transaction, that would be great. We both win. 
You know, we got a private lender. They get to see a whole entire real estate transaction. If we did a deal together on this particular property or not, I still want to build a relationship with people no matter what. Even if I'm on an appointment or at the gym or, you know, at a grocery store, whatever the case is, I'm always looking to bring some value no matter what. So that is just one little thing that I always like to do. Um, now, the second appointment got canceled. That's rescheduled for next week. So we'll let you know what happens with that. And then right now, we're just back at the office. I'm with my integrator. We're going to write some things on the whiteboard. We're going to start manifesting some things and plotting some things out for these next 90 days. We're going to see what we can make happen. And then, um, oh, one good thing that happened this week, we did get a contract. That contract is just a regular cash deal down in New Bedford. So any cash buyers that's watching this, watching this right now that are looking to buy in New Bedford, we're gonna have a single family going live pretty soon. Now the close date is a little bit far out, but we are looking to wholesale that property. We're not gonna fix and flip that one ourselves most likely. So any cash buyers, please send me a DM on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you follow me and I'll get you in touch with my Dispo team and we'll get you on a list so you can get that property down in the bedroom. But anyways, we're gonna get on with the rest of our day. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. That is a wrap for today. Today was a good day. We got a lot of shit accomplished. Matter of fact, this week was a good week. We got some good momentum this week. We got a contract this week. We're rocking and rolling. We're gonna bring this momentum into the next week. What Sundays usually look like is Sundays are usually the plotting day. So we're gonna take tomorrow to map up the whole next week and see what that looks like and keep this thing rocking and rolling. I appreciate y'all following me on this journey. Please send me a DM on Facebook or Instagram. Let's connect, let's collaborate. Like I said, I appreciate y'all following me and we'll see y'all next week.